Hello, super smart second graders. If you have clicked on this video, it is because you want to give your brain a little challenge. Okay. You've been working on multiplication facts, okay? Memorizing two times three equals six. Got two threes, it equals six. Beautiful. You've done this where it's in rocket math right on top of each other. Two times three equals six. It's just another way to write it. Well, one of the things we've learned when we're doing math in the real world is that most of the time we're using a lot of bigger numbers than two times three, okay? It's the same with addition, right? So with addition, we might have 34 plus a number, right? Let's say 34 plus five. We've got our ones together, our tens together. Four plus five is nine. Three plus zero is three. Okay, so we've learned that we can work with bigger numbers. Same thing with multiplication. So let's say we have 34 times two. And again, the two is, a, is the ones, so we're gonna put it under the ones. And we're gonna start with the ones. Two times four equals eight. But now we're not gonna do three times zero like we do with addition. We're gonna also do three times two. And this isn't just three, it's actually 30 times two. Three times two is six or 60, 68. Now this makes sense to me because two times 34 means we have two 34s that we're adding together, eight and six. We get the same answer. So this makes sense, it's working, okay. So why don't you guys try one of these on your own? How about 45 times, well, let's do, excuse me, let's do 43 times two. Okay, 43 times two. So remember, we wanna do three times two first, and then we wanna do four times two, which is really 40 times two. Four times two is eight, 86. All right, this makes sense. You feel good about this? If you want to, you could practice a few of these problems and then come back to this video. But just like in the real world, when we're adding numbers for addition, sometimes when we're adding it up, it adds up to something greater than nine. So for instance, we might have 48 plus nine. So we're gonna add up our ones. Well, nine plus eight is 17. I can't put two digits down here. 17, this is actually a 10, 10 plus seven. So it needs to go with the tens. So we're gonna put it up here. We have one more 10. So now I have five tens, 57. The same thing happens in multiplication. Let's say I have 34 times three. Again, I put the ones under the ones. We're gonna start with four times three. Four times three is 12. I can't put 12 here. I can put my two for my ones because this is the ones area. But that one digit for 12 is actually a 10, right? So it needs to go up here with the tens. Now we're gonna do Three times three. Three times three is nine, but we have this extra 10 that we just got. So we have nine plus the one is 10. 102. Okay. Let's do another one together. Let's practice it. What if I have 56 times four? Okay, start over here. Six times four is 24, but I can't put 24 down here. I can put the four, then the two tens need to go up here. So I have 24, 24, but the 20 needs to go with the 50. The tens go together. Okay, so we did six times four. Now we're gonna do five times four. 
Five times four is 20, but we also have to add in these two more tens. So we have 22. 224, okay? What I'd like you to do, if you wanna challenge yourself, is I want you to practice some of these, but just do a two digit number like 73 times a one digit number. And it can either be a small number like this one times two, or it just says three times two is six. Or you can make it a bigger number, like a five. Three times five is 15. I've gotta put that one digit over here. Seven times five is 35, plus one more, 36. Okay, practice some of these on your own. Okay, pick a two digit number if you wanna do this one. How about 80? four times seven. If you wanna try that one, try that one. Put it on a whiteboard, solve it for me, take a picture, put it on Seesaw. Just practice with this, okay? And then I'll show you, next week I'll show you for challenge a really cool way that you guys can start doing two digit numbers or three digit numbers multiplying by each other. It's pretty cool. Your parents probably don't even know about it. It's kind of a new way to do things. I'll show it to you next week, okay? See you soon, bye.